Good morning po sa ating lahat at higit sa ating Panginoon. Uh, uh, Tunay po na nalulugod ang Diyos natin sa ngayon. No? Sa nagkaroon tayo ng face to face ngayon. No? So alam ko maligaya ang Diyos. At uh, bago po tayo magsimula, Ayos ko po muna ang puntahan itong isang verse sa akin, uh, dalawang verse pa sa ating sa Biblia. Uh, mula po sa aklat ng Kawikaan o Proverb chapter 3 verse 5 and 6. So basahin po natin. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. Can I ask you to bow your head and close your eyes and feel the presence of our God? Let's have a word of prayer. Dearest Lord, God of power in heaven, we thank you so much again this morning. Uh, a really wonderful morning. Good weather. We are comfortable with this uh, uh, weather now, or tunay po na pinagpala nyo kami, at uh, tunay po na dakila kayo, sapagkat uh, pinasisigat nyo ang araw sa mabuti at masama. Lord God, uh, pantay-pantay ang pagtingin po ninyo sa inyong mga anak, sa lahat ng inyong nilalang. Because, uh, kayo po yung creator, kayo po lumika ng lahat, to God. So, salamat po. Muli, binigyan nyo kami ng pagkakataon upang patuloy po na kami ay uh, makarinig ng salita. Lord God, uh, it's not an accident po, hindi po aksidente na ang inyong mga anak ay narito, kundi po ito'y plano ninyo. We have the plan for their life, oh God, to, uh, to do better, oh God, for their kingdom purpose. At uh, salamat po. At uh, uh, we ask you, oh God, uh, nabigyan niyo po ang bawat isa ng alertong kaisipan at uh, isang puso na receptive na tumatanggap ng salita, handang uh, mabago, magpabago, at handang magamit sa, pag, uh, sa inyong kaharian. Lord, salamat po. And uh, I ask you, oh God, na grant me uh, spiritual uh, 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 strength, uh, energy, and physical strength upang sa ganyan po ay uh, mak, uh, maklaro ko pong maipahayag ang inyong salita, yung pong nais ninyo na marinig ng bawat isa ngayon. Kayo po yung mangusap sa akin sa pamamagitan ko Maging uh, bibig mo po ako, kamay at paa, Lord God, at kayo po yung patuloy na mataas, madakila sa buhay ko, at ako'y patuloy na mababa. Lord, salamat po, at uh, we ask your Holy Spirit, Lord God, hindi lang po sa lugar na ito, Lord God, at uh, ganyan po sa, nandoon po sa mga online, sa kailang mga tahanan, o sa mga lugar, ang inyong mga anak ngayon, nakikinig, nanunood, Lord God, uh, kayo po, Lord God, ang patuloy na sumama through your Holy Spirit, uh, let your Holy Spirit be upon this place and upon us in every places where your children are. Salamat po, Ama. This we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All God's people say, Amen. 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 Thank you, Pa. So, ngayon po, good morning pong muli. Uh, sa ating pong buhay, no, there will be always an answered question. May mga katanungan lagi sa ating buhay na hindi natutugon. Di ba? Kumisan sabi natin, why did my loved one make it to me? May mga bagay na ginawa sa iyo na hindi maganda. Sasabi mo, why am not getting better? Kung may anumang uh, kabigatan, sa iyong katawan, sa iyong sarili, tatanong mo yan, why this person leave me? Bakit iniwan ako ng taong ito? No? Some things are not going to make sense. Para bang lahat ng bagay o walang kabuluhan, no? but God will not, hindi ito inaallow ni Lord. Na wala siyang, uh, na wala siyang gagawing, na wala siyang ibabalik na kabutihan sa iyo. Naniwala po ba tayo? Na ano man yung mga 
katanungan sa buhay natin, nilayuan tayo ng tao, no? ginawaan tayo ng hindi maganda ng ating kapamilya o kaibigan, no? at uh, uh, iniwan tayo, pero ang Diyos, alam ng Diyos ang lahat ng yan. Hindi niya gagawin yan na hindi niya uh, bibigyan ng katugunan ng lahat. Yung mabuting bagay ay pagkakalob niya sa iyo. So, you may not see it. Maaring hindi mo ito nakikita ngayon, but God knows what He is doing. No? Maaring hindi mo nakikita ngayon, pero alam ng Diyos kung ano ang ginagawa niya. No? He has, uh, he has your best interested heart. No? May, andyan, yung inilagay niya yung, yung pinakamabuting bagay sa puso mo. No? Bagamat mayroong mga method o mayroong mga pamamaraan, no? but yan po ay bahagi ng kanyang plano sa atin. Kaya po, be bold to trust Him. No? Hayagan natin, ang ipahayag natin ng <clears throat> hayagan no? ang ating pagtitiwala sa Diyos. No? So, sabi nga, kaya sabi doon sa Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 and 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart. No? Pagtiwalaan daw natin ng Diyos ng buong puso at huwag tayong manangan sa sarili nating uh, kakayahan o pang kaunawaan. In all your ways, submit to Him. No? Ano man, sa lahat ng pamamaraan, submit natin ang ating mga sarili and He will make your path straight. At gagawin niyang matuwid yung ating daraanan. Ano po? So, I want to talk to you. No? Today is about absolute dependence. Baga, total dependence. So, pagtit na parang yung isang baby na nagtitiwala sa kanyang magulang, yung mga two years old po, talagang tiwala yan na siya ay hindi magugutom, siya ay kakain. No? So, ganoon po. So, total dependence. Absolute dependence. No? It's easy to trust God. Madaling pagtiwalaan ng Diyos when things are going our way. Kung ang lahat ng bagay ay ayon sa ating kaparaanan. Di ba? Pinagtitiwalaan natin ng Diyos. We are getting good breaks. No? Uh, our business, yung negosyo, napagpapala, yung mga anak natin, mahal sa masigla, malusog. No? Pero hindi po makikita dito yung pananampalataya. But that doesn't take much faith. Ano ba? Kapag yung ating uh, pagtitiwala sa Diyos ay dahil lahat ng bagay, meron ka, no? Pero, but that doesn't take much faith. No? Life is good. But what about when things are not going our way? Ko oh, pero mabuti ang buhay. Ngunit paano naman kung ang lahat ng bagay ay hindi nangyayari ayon sa ating pamamaraan? Yung ating mga panalangin hindi nasasag natutugunan, no? Yung problema hindi nababago, andoon pa rin. We are not seeing favor. Hindi tayo nakakita ng mga favor. No? Kaya nga, pangkaraniwan, marami, nadi-discourage, nasisiraan ng loob. No? So, sabi nga, think God, isipin mo, why are not doing something? Bakit ang Diyos walang ginagawang bagay sa akin? Nakita niya na minimaltrato ako, nakita niya na yung kalusugan ko ay hindi maganda, Nakita niya na naghihirap ako sa akin trabaho, pero hindi ako napopromote. No? We think, when it change, we will be happy. No? Kapag nabago naman yung iba, ang lahat, nagkaroon ng changes, magiging malagaya tayo. No? Kapag tulad niyan, when I meet the right person, when my health improves, when we have this baby, nagkaroon na kayo ng anak, then we will have a good attitude. No? 
para bang yung pabor lahat sa iyo ay magiging mabuti na ang iyong attitude toward God. No? That is conditional trust. Ano niya? Lagi kang, no? God, parang ganito, God, if you meet my demands, no? Diyos, Panginoon, kung ibibigay mo lahat na aking inihingi, if you answer my prayers the way I want on my timetable, no? kung nasagunin mo ang aking mga panalangin ayon sa aking uh, panahon na itinalaga, then I will be, then I will be my best. At sa gayon ay magiging mabuti ako. No? Pero ang problema doon sa conditional trust is there's always be always be things we don't understand. Marami tayong hindi nanawaan kapag ang ating trust ay conditional. Lagi tayo may conditional. Lagi makakabuti sa atin. Laging pabor sa atin. Meron tayong hindi nanawaan dito. Something is not happening. Pass enough. It didn't work out. The way we want it, no? we pray just as hard ninyo po yung pangyayari. Nanalangin ako, nanalangin kami, hard for my wife when her health went down. No? Talagang yung prayer, may iyak, may luhod, no? tulo, pati sipon. No? Noong may karamdaman yung aking uh, wife, si Pastora Josephine, so, Ganon din yung ginawa namin sa anak ko, sa aking panganay, no? Nalagay din sa bingit yung kanyang buhay, no? We pray, we ask God to restore her health, no? To let her live. But my wife went to be with the Lord. No? Kasama na siya ni Lord ngayon. Ano? It did not happen the way I wanted. Hindi nangyari yung kahilingan ko gumaling siya no it's very sad why i retired 2016 2016 no and then my wife passed away 2019 no so more than two years lang kami nagsama pool no because i work outside no so my prayer hindi na pangyari ayon sa aking hinahangan. No? If I would have had conditional trust, kung ang aking uh, pagtitiwala sa Diyos ay may condition, I will go upset and bitter. Ma-upset ako. Tatanungin ko, Lord, bakit hindi mo tinugon yung panalayan ko? Pero, andito yan, ano? And I will ask God, why didn't you answer my prayer? Pero sa katotohanan lang po, lahat ng prayer natin, tinutugon ng Diyos. No? The truth is God did answer my prayer. It just was not the way I wanted. Hindi nga lang po ayon sa aking inaasahan. No? Lahat po ng prayer natin tinutugon, hindi lang ayon sa ating inaasahan. No? Kaya nga po, are you mature enough to accept God's answer? Mature ka na ba para tanggapin ang katugunan ng Diyos? Even though they are not what you were hoping for kahit na hindi ito yung inaasahan mo. No? Because God is sovereign, sovereign God. We are not going to understand everything that's happened. No? What happened? Hindi natin maunawaan ang lahat. Dahil siya ay Diyos, tayo ay tao. Kaya nga po, yung faith is trusting God when life is doesn't make sense. Para bang ang faith, ang pananampalataya, ay yung pagtitiwala sa Diyos na kung tayo ay para ba yung buhay natin ay wala nang walang patutunguhan, no? But still, we have faith. There will always be an answered question. Laging pong mga, mga hindi natutugon ng katanungan, why did my love won't make, bakit iniiwan ako, o ginawa ito sa akin ng aking pamilya, ng aking mahal sa buhay, Why I'm not getting better? Bakit hindi ako bumubuti, hindi gumagaling? No? Bakit iniwan ako ng aking boyfriend? Girlfriend? Something are not going to make sense. But God will not allow that. Inuulit ko. Hindi inalaw niya ng Lord ang bagay na yan na wala siyang gagawing mabuti para sa iyo. Can I hear, Amen? No. 
Ayan po, nung ating point, uh, point number one, be bold to trust God. Sabi natin, ulit natin, we may not see it at the time. Maraming hindi natin nakikita ngayon, but God knows what He is doing. Alam ng Diyos kung ano yung ginagawa niya. He has your best interested heart. No? Andyan po. So, their methods, it's part of his plan. You may think you're in the wrong way, but God is still directing your step. No? Kaya nga po, be bold to trust Him. Pagtiwalaan natin siya. Yung hayagan. No? I didn't want to lose my wife. Of course. No? We've been, uh, we've been together for 39 years. Married for 39 years. No? She was my best friend. My best partner. We had this whole Galilee and all our other properties that we work together, no? From, kumbaga, from, from 10 ang buhay namin, no? Noong kami mag-asawa, hindi zero, hindi naman wala, no? From 10. Sabihin natin, from 10, at ngayon, uh, umabot tayo sa 100%, no? So, kaya nga, Hindi ako masaya, ayoko na mawala yung aking wife. No? Unang-una, siya ay isang pastora. No? Naglilingkod kay Lord. Uh, but I found God had another plan. No? He had something else for me to do. No? Gayun din po sa aking mga anak. No? Merong, merong mga uh, plano si Lord para sa amin lahat. No? At uh, tulad ng aking anak na si Pastor Jay, siya na po yung ngayong head pastor ng Galilee, ng GOCCL, yung aking anak na si Vanessa, siya na po yung principal ngayon ng school, na dati si Pastora ang Pastora, at siya rin po yung principal. So, nagkaroon ng division of labor, sabi nga. So, so I want, uh, sabi nga, I could not see it, at the time. No? I want to go to do in my way at my way. But God had better way. No? Merong magandang, mabuting paraan si Diyo, ang Diyos. No? God can see things in you that you cannot see in yourself. May mga bagay na nakikita, nakikita ang Diyos sa iyo na hindi mo nakikita. Amen. Merong ang talent na hindi mo nakikita. Pero alam ni Lord yan. No? Sabi nga, His plan for your life is bigger. Ang plano ng Diyos sa iyo ay malaki higit sa plano mo sa buhay mo. But it may not happen the way you thought. Maring hindi pa ito nangyayari ayon sa iyong kaisipan. God doesn't take us in a straight line. Hindi tayo dinadala ng Diyos sa straight na daan. Mayroon ditong uh, may mga twist, turns, mayroong disappointment, mayroong loss, no? bad breaks. They're all part of His plan. No? May mga circumstances sa buhay natin, nangyayari sa buhay natin, planong lahat yan ng Diyos. But if you have conditional dependence, you will get discouraged. Kaya nga, kung puro, Lord, pag binigay mo sa akin ito, lagi na ako magsisimba. No? Lagi na ako magde-devotion. Hindi po. Yun yung mga conditional dependence. No? Think why this happened, iisipin mo, Lord, laking ganito eh. Pagka yung conditional, laging, bakit nangyari siya ito? Sa akin ito. Bakit namamali ako? Bakit naliligaw ako? 
but God is still directing your steps. No? Ang direktiba ng iyong hakbang ay naki Lord. Depend on Him when you don't understand. Magdepende ka sa Kanya kahit hindi mo naunawaan. Trust Him even when it feels like you're going wrong direction. Pagtiwalaan mo pa rin siya. Eh Lord, bakit? Eh gusto ko maging mechanical engineer eh. Bakit ginawa mo akong military? Bakit ginawa mo akong marine engineer? Di ba? Pagka ganun, yung conditional trust ka, dependence. What I thought will be my darkness hour, the loss of my wife. No? Ay ko, parang mabigat. Nawala ang aking partner. No? So I say this respectfully in one sense. No? It turned out to be my brightest hour. Yung pagkawala niya, it launched me into what I'm doing today. No? Into a new level of my destiny. No? So, nagkaroon nga ng division of labor na dito sa Galilee. No? Yung work ni Pastora as principal. No? At kung wala ako, siya yung nagmamanage sa lahat dito. So, ngayon, uh, nagkahati-hati na kami. No? Uh, Nakapag-establish ako ng water station, ng concrete products. So, uh, naging very busy, lalo ang buhay namin. No? We cannot stay in, inside our house. No? Only when you are having lunch uh, no? and sleep. Diyan lang kami tumitigil sa bahay. No? So, sabi nga, but yung kapag conditional dependence ka, madi-discourage ka. Pero hindi mo nakikita, may ginagawa si Lord sa buhay mo. Amen. No? So, but sometimes, we went things so bad, no? we are not going to be happy. Misan, yung may mga bad break, may hindi magandang pangyayari, no? hindi tayo, nalulungkot tayo. No? Para bang kung talagang ano, like kung misan ay ganito, I can't be happy unless I get the house. Hindi ako maligaya kung wala akong bahay. No? Hindi ako maligaya kung hindi ko namimit yung tamang tao. Hindi ako maligaya kung wala pa kami yung baby. That's out of balance. Hindi po, hindi po balance yung ating pananampalataya. No? Anything you have to have in order to be happy, the, anim- the enemy can use against you. Ano mang bagay na magdudulot sa atin ng kaligayahan ay maaring ito ay gamitin ng kalaban laban sa iyo. No? Yes, it's good to be honest with God. Totoo, mabuti na maging uh, tapat tayo sa Diyos Sabihin natin, telling our dreams, your dreams, no? telling Him what you believe in for. Sabihin natin yung, kanyang mga, yung ating mga pangarap. Sabihin natin sa Kanya yung ating paniniwala. Sabihin natin, God, this is what I want. I'm asking you to heal my loved one. Turn this problem around. No? God, open this new door. No, it's fine to ask. It's fine to ask. Ay, mabuti lang po na tayo ay magsabi sa Diyos. But then, be matured enough. Kailangan po, maging mature tayo. To say. To say, upang sabihin, but God, if it never happens, if it don't, don't get the promotion, if my loved one doesn't make it, if my health doesn't improve, I'm still going to depend on you. Can I hear amen? Can I be, can I, can I ask for a big hands for our Lord? So, <clears throat> yung nangyayari po, po, we consume, no, we get consumed with what we want. No? That it can become like an idol. 
Parang nakukonsumo yung ating sarili, napopokus natin yung ating sarili sa mga gusto natin. No? Nakakaroon na tayo ng idol. Binigyan ka ng kotse, hindi ka na nakapagsimba. Katwira mo, nililinis mo, pina, pinakarwas mo. No? That's all we think about. All we pray about. It's always on the forefront of our mind. Lahat ng ating iniisip, lahat ng ating pinapanalangin, nandito po yan. No? Kaya nga, on our point number two, no? kasi sinasarili natin, sa point number two, ano po yung sabi dyan? Turn it over to God. So, we pray, believe, then leave it in the hands of God. Don't get so focused on what you want. Huwag po tayong ma-focus yung attention natin sa kung ano yung gusto natin. That you will miss the beauty of your days. Mamimiss mo. Everything may not be perfect. There are things that need to change. But God has given you the grace to be happy every day. Yan po? Binigyan ka ng Diyos ng biyaya upang maling, maging maligaya sa araw-araw. Apo, don't get focused on what you want. That you will miss the beauty of your days. Everything may not be perfect. Hindi po lahat ng bagay ay perfecto. There are things that need to change may mga bagay na dapat baguhin, no? pero binayaan tayo ng Diyos upang tayo ay maging maligaya araw-araw. So, it is very free when you can say, God, it's on your hands. I absolutely depend on you. If it works out my way, I absolutely depend on you. Even when I didn't understand it. No? Sabi nga, malaya ka, sabihin mo. No? Lord, nasa mga kamay mo na ang lahat. At ako ay nagdedepende sa iyo. Kung ito man ay nangyayari, ayon sa aking pamamaraan, at ako po, ay tunay na nagtatalaga ng aking pagdidepende sa inyo kahit na ang mga bagay ay hindi ko naunawaan. Kaya po kung babasahin natin yung nasulat sa aklat ng 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 8 verse 8 and 9 na ba? Sabi po dito, three times, ito po yung sulat ni Apostle Paul, three times I pleaded with the Lord to take it away from me. But He said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. So, si Apostol po, merong describe na torn, tinik. No? Torn in his flesh. Maring it is either physical or spiritual that he didn't like. It was bothering him. No? Three times he asked God to take it away. Tatlong beses na hiniling sa Diyos na alsin itong tinik na ito. But God didn't remove it. Hindi tinanggal ng Diyos ito. Ang sabi niya, but Paul was honoring God. He was being his best. 
He wrote half of the books in the New Testament. Si Pablo po, no, ay patuloy na pinaparangalan ng Diyos sa kanyang buhay, no? Ipinakita niya ang yung kanyang the best. At siya po yung sumulat ng kalahati ng New Testament po. No? At iisipin po niyo, you will think God will fix what was bothering him. Iisipin niyo, ipipix ni Lord to. Kasi lingkod niya ito eh. No? But instead, God said to him, Paul, my grace is sufficient for you. Yung aking biyaya ay sufficient na sa iyo. So he will say, in effect, I may not remove it just yet, but I will give you the grace to handle it. No, hindi tinanggal ng Diyos, ngunit binayayaan siya na ma, matagalan, ma, ma, ibig sabihin, ma, matanggap niya o makayanan niya no? yung kalagayan niya. If God is not removing what you want to, rebu- to remove, no? if He is not changing what you want to change. Kung ano po yung hinihiling natin na tanggalin ng Diyos sa atin o hinihiling natin baguhin ng Diyos sa ating buhay, wag po natin gawing itong excuse upang tayo ay mamuhay na bitter. No? Upang gawin natin mapait yung buhay natin, malungkot. God has given you the grace. Binayayaan ka na ng Diyos to be where you are with good attitude. Na kahit saan ka naroon, kahit anong kalagayan mo, ay maging mabuti ka. That you can enjoy your life in spite of what not working out. Enjoy mo yung buhay mo, tulad ni Apostle Paul, kahit hindi tinanggal ng Diyos, yung turn sa kanyang place, no? ay naroon ang patuloy na paglilingkod niya. Sometimes the reason our prayers aren't answered the way we want It's because it's not the right time. No, hindi pa tamang panahon or God has something better. No? That we can see or perhaps He is using the difficulty to do a work in us. Kung po isang po pina, uh, yung mga difficulties, uh, nakabubuti po yun eh. Bakit po? To help us grow para lumago tayo sa pananampalataya, to get stronger, matatag. No? So, absolute dependence says, God, I don't like it. It's, an uncom- it's uncomfortable. But I'm smart enough to recognize your God, and I'm not. No? Kailangan po ma-recognize natin na siya ay Diyos tayo ay hindi. At siya yung nasa trono. No? At siya yung kumokontrol sa ating buhay. At siya sabihin, at kaya dapat nating sabihin, You said your plan for me are for good. You said you will lead me to the best path for my life. And even though I don't understand it right now, God, I absolutely defend on you. Kahit hindi pa po nangyayari, no, o may struggle pa tayo, mga pangarap natin, hindi pa nagaganap, sabihin natin, Lord, God, I absolutely defend on you. Epo, are you living prostrated? Nabubuhay ka bang prostrated, unhappy? Because something is not going in your way? Yan po yung natatawag na conditional trust. No? Napoprostrate ka, hindi ka maligaya, 
Dahil yung mga bagay-bagay hindi nangyayari ayon sa inyong uh, kaparanan. You will live a lot free, a lot happier if you quit fighting what God is not changing. Di ba? Magiging maligaya ka. Magiging uh, uh, parang you have a freedom. Magiging maligaya ka kapag binitawan mo yung pakikipaglaban sa mga bagay na hindi binabago ng Diyos. Kaya quit being upset over what He is not removing. Huwag kang ma-upset kung ano yung hindi tinatanggal ng Diyos. Sabi ni Apostle Paul, I have learned how to be content. No? Naging maligaya na pa, natutunan niya na siya ay makontento. Sabi niya, nagdanas ako ng paghihirap, nagdanas din ako ng pananagana. Alam niya lahat ng bagay na yan. No? Pero sa lahat ng bagay na kanyang natatamo, nakakontento siya. Yung mga pangyayari, hindi po yan nangyayari automatically. Pero he made this decision Sabi niya, I am not going to live sour. No? Because God hasn't removed this thorn. When He wants to remove it, He will remove it. Yan po yung katuwiran ni Apostle Paul. Kung gusto niya itong tanggalin, tatanggalin niya ito. But until then, I am going to be happy where I am. Where I am. Turn on and off. No? The truth is, we all have some thorns. Yung katotohanan po, merong mga tinik sa buhay natin. Things that God is not changing, mga, may mga bagay na hindi binabago ang Diyos, He could be, no, if, if He wanted it, He is God. All we have to do is speak. Sabihin natin, yung mga problema natin, sabihin natin sa Kanya. Sa trabaho natin, minamaltrato tayo, sabihin natin sa Kanya. It's not a big deal. But since He is not doing it yet, will you do like Paul? And be happy where you are. Turn up, turn on and off. Trouble and all loneliness. No, so ibig sabihin, ano man ang kondisyon natin, may mga bagay na hindi ginagawa ng Lord sa buhay natin, mga kailingan natin. No, dapat matutunan natin, makontento tayo, masiyahan tayo. It takes a mature person to say, even though God is not removing this, I'm still going to have a smile. No? Kailangan po maging mature tayo. A mature person. So sa atin po, Christian, tawag natin yung sarili natin, mature Christian. No? Hindi po yung sa edad. Ito po yung ayon sa ating faith. Dahil marami na pong matandang Christian, yung faith po, napakababaw. So, meron na mga bata na ang faith nila ay talagang matindi. So, yun po yung natawag nating mature person no, dito sa Christian world. Kaya sasabihin mo, I'm still going to be good to people. I'm still going to give God praise. Patuloy ko pa rin, patuloy akong magiging mabuti sa aking kapwa. Patuloy akong magbibigay ng pur, papuri sa Diyos. No? Alam po ninyo yung tatlong Hebrew sa teenager doon sa book of Daniel. Ano po? This was happened with the three Hebrews teenagers in the scripture. They will not bow down to the king's golden idol. idol. Ano po? Kailangan po nag-gawait, nagpagawait itong uh, king na ito ng idol. Nang na Ito po ay luluhuran, no? 
luluhuran lahat ng tao. Pero ito pong tatlong uh, Hebrews neto ay hindi lumuluhod. So the king was furious, no? Galit na galit yung uh, hari nang malaman niya ito. So he was going to have them thrown into a fiery furnace. No? Doon sa pugon. They said, "King, we are not going to bow down. We know our God will deliver us." No, sabi nila, hindi kami luluhod, hindi kami yuyukod. At alam namin na ang Diyos ay ililigtas kami. Pero ito yung sabi nila, but even if He doesn't, we're still not going to bow down. At kung hindi man kami iligtas ng Diyos, sa pugon ng apoy, ay hindi pa rin kami yuyukod. Yun ang sabi ng tatlo. At yun tatawag natin absolute dependence. I believe God is going to turn this situation around. No? But even if it doesn't, I'm still going to be happy. Ito po yung katwiran nitong tatlo. Ang katwiran ng tatlong teenager. Alam namin, nililigtas kami ng Diyos. Ngunit hindi man kami iligtas niya, hindi pa rin kami yuyukod. Just, just golden idol na yan. Kaya ba natin yan? Tatapon sa pugon? Ito pong pugon, three, ano, seven times po yung init nito. Kaya, kasi nung buksan nito ng mga guard, yung mga guard ang unang namatay. No? Yung singaw pa lang. Kaya nga po, be bold to defend on Him. Not just when things are going your way, but even when you don't understand. Ngayon, yeah, kumisan, meron tayo, I believe I'm going to get the promotion. I believe my health is improving. Sabi natin. I believe the right, the right person is coming. But, if it doesn't happen, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to get bitter and sour. Hindi, pa rin, hindi ko pa rin papapaitin ang aking buhay. Hindi man ako ma-promote, hindi man ako gumaling, hindi ko man ma-meet yung, mga, yung tamang tao, hindi ko pa rin gagawing mapait ang aking buhay. I know God is still on the throne. Dahil alam ko na ang Diyos ay nakaluklok pa rin, pa rin sa kanyang throne. If He's not changing it, He has the reason. No? He has the reason. Why? My life is in His hands. Ang buhay mo, kapatid, ang buhay ng katabi mo, ay nasa kamay ng Diyos. So there to defend Him, on Him. Not just when things are, your, are going on your way, but even we don't understand. Kahit hindi mo na naman ang pangyayari. Kaya nga po doon, sa point number three natin, let God work out His plan for your life. Kaya, you don't have to work it all out. Hindi mo kailangan gawin ang lahat ng ito. You don't have to make it happen in your own strength. No? Try to manipulate people, fight all your battle. He can do it better than you can. He knows the best path. No? Hindi po kailangan natin. Let God work out His plan for your life. Siya yung may plano. May plano man tayo, ngunit ang Lord ang nagpapatupad. You don't have to work it all out. You don't have to make it happen in your own strength. Try to manage, oh, 
subukan mo na uh, manipulayin yung tao, na patuloy ka nakikipaglaban, na para bang lahat ng battle sa iyo, hindi mo nalalaman lahat ng battle ay kay Lord. At magagawa yung lahat ng better than you can. He knows the best part. We know we are not doing life on our own. Yung buhay natin, no? Hindi na pangyayari, no? Ayon lang sa ating sarili. The most high God, the creator of the universe, is working out His plan for our lives. So, nasulat po sa Philippians chapter 2, verse 13. Sabi nga po dito, for it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill His good purpose. So God will work out His plan for your life. Kaya nga po, why don't you relax? Take the pressure off yourself and let God work out His plan for your life. That's what this teenagers were saying, we know God will deliver us from this fire. But even it does not, we are not going to get upset and start panicking. We know we are not doing life on our own. The Most High God, the creator of the universe, is working out His plan for our life. Siya po ang kumikilos no, sa ating buhay. Kaya po dapat nating malaman, all the forces of darkness cannot stop what God has ordained. What God has ordained. No? Hindi mapipigilan ng gawa ng kadiliman ang mga inordinahan ng Diyos. Yung karandaman, hindi po yan makakapigil sa Kanya. Yung trouble, hindi yan makakapigil sa Diyos. Yung disappointment, yung setback. No? You may have a lot coming against you. You feel like you are about to be thrown into fire. Para bang iniisip mo, lahat ng bagay ay laban lang siya against all odds. Pero the good news is, you're not going to go in there alone. No? You cannot be put in the fire unless God allowed it. The enemy is not in control of your life. God is in control. Dabo? He is working out his plan Kaya lang po, sometimes his plan includes a very farness. No? Sometimes it includes giants, no? Red Seas, Pharaoh, yung mga tao na ayaw mo, yung mga malalaking obstacle, You don't see a way. But since you know the Lord is directing your step, no, hindi mo nakikita yung mga pamamaraan. Ngunit, kapag nalaman mo na ang Diyos pala ang nagdidirektiba sa iyong mga agbang, no, you don't try to figure it out all. No? Kaya hindi mo dapat uh, Uh, parang tignan na kung paano mo gagawin ito, no? Na para bang it look like the end ka na, 
Tulad noong tatlong teenager, no? They have absolute dependence. Sabi I know God will deliver me. I know God will deliver us. But even if He doesn't, I'm still going to have a song of praise. Yan po yung tatlo. I'm still going to have an attitude of faith. I'm still going to live my life happy. So the king had these teenagers thrown into the furnace. furnace. The fire was too, so hot nga, sabi ko sa inyo. Yung mga guard na nagbukas nito, sila yung unang namatay. Pero in a few minutes, the king came to check on them. No? He looked through the window at hindi siya makapaniwala nang makita niya. Sabi niya, didn't we throw three men bound? Di ba yung itinapo na nilagay natin doon ay tatlong tao na nakatali, nakagapos, I see four men loose and one looked like the son of God. Wow! What was that? God working out His plan for their lives. No? Itinapong sa apoy, ni ang buhok hindi nangamoy, hindi nasunog. Samantalang maganyang ka lang sa apoy, yung balahibo mo sa kamay, sunog na agad. Pero sila hindi na ano. At nakalag yung kanilang mga tali, yung gapos, at naging apat pa. But I wonder what the outcome will have been. No? Ano kaya ang kalalabasan kung ang faith, kung ang pananampalataya nitong tatlo ay conditional? Yung laging may hinihingin kapalit. Para ba yung God, if you deliver us from this fire, then we will stay in faith. God, if you do it our way, we will keep a good attitude. Paano kaya kung ganyan? But when the king didn't change his mind, when God didn't remove the obstacle, hindi nagbago yung kaisipan ng hari, itatapon talaga sila, at hindi rin naman tinanggal ng Diyos yung obstacle, yung apoy, if they will have God, but when the king, no, kung naging negative sila, nag-complain sila, and saying, God, hindi ka namin maunawaan. No, kung ganito yung tatlo, Lord, hindi ka namin maunawaan. Nananangin kami. Nananampalataya kami sa iyo. Yung faith namin, talagang tinatalaga namin sa iyo. Bakit? Hindi mo inalis tong apoy na ito. Ano po? Maybe the partners will have been the end. So, nakita po natin kung conditional po yung faith nitong tatlong neto, hindi na natin napag-usapan silang tatlo. Wala na po sila sa Biblia. Pero ngayon, patuloy natin silang pinag-uusapan. Kaya nga po, if you want to get God's attention, if you want Him to take you where you never did, uh, where you have never dreamed and turn impossible situation around, gayahin po natin itong tatlong teenager. Na kahit hindi nagbago yung binago ng Diyos, yung isip ng hari, kahit hindi inalis ng Diyos yung apoy, patuloy yung kanilang pananampalataya. No? Hindi po yung konting reason lang, konting dahilan lang, si Bumbay inaanap nyo. Saan na ba si Bumbay? Dumaan na ba? Kanina ko pa yan, kagabi ko pa yan, ninihintay. No? Ganon po ba tayo? Kaya po, kung makuha natin, dapat makuha natin yung attention ng Lord. No?
So, the enemy, alam po natin yung enemy, yung kalaban, yung demonyo, he is expecting you to get upset. Mainis ka. To be worried. Magalala ka. If it doesn't work out, no? Uh, para bang ang gusto niya, malaglag ka na sa pananampalataya. No? Mabuhay ka na malungkot. Yan ang gusto ng kalaban eh. But when you have absolute dependence, you cannot be defeated. No? You may have challenges that look bigger, stronger in the natural. May mga challenges na talagang titignan natin, malaki. No? Na wala kang uh, chance. Pero, don't be intimidated. Wag po tayong ma-intimidate dahil yung, the forces that are for you are greater than the forces that are against you. No? So sabi ko nga, sarili ko, we know this pandemic time, so napakaraming bagay, maraming naghirap, maraming nalagay sa kakulangan. The same with us po. Mas malaki po yung uh, pananagutan namin dahil meron kaming mga teacher na pasusweldoin, meron kaming dapat bayaran, kinakailangan. Apo, ayun po yung puso ko, napakalaki na. No? Sabi ko nga, I will not lend. Hindi ako mangihiram, hindi ako magsasanla. I trust God. Bibigyan niya kami ng aming pangangailangan. At she's really good. Very, very good. Hindi niya gusto kami mapahiya. Sabi ko sa mga anak ko, we serve God truly in our heart. The best. Kaya po, bigyan niya ng katugunan yung aming pangangilangan. No? Naiyak nga po. Dahil talaga napakabuti ni Lord. Yung absolute dependence. No? Nang ako'y bumili ng truck, sabi ko hindi ako mamumutang, hindi ako maglo-loan. No? Binigyan din ni Lord ng cash para mabayaran yung truck. Ako. So ganoon po. Maging ganoon tayo, maging bold tayo yung dependence natin sa Kanya. Natitiwala tayo. No? So, you may get thrown into a fire, but if you're not, na, but if it is not your time to go, you're not going to go. No? God has the final say right now. Ang Diyos, no? ang may final na Salita. He is working out His plan for your life. There may be some very farness, but are you only going to defend on Him if He is deliver you from the fire? Now, if He takes away all the thorns, if He does it, you, if, if He does it your way, No? Or are you going to have absolute dependence? No? Trust Him. Like those teenagers. Even he, hindi niya inalis yung mga apoy na ito, hindi niya inalis yung obstacle, hindi niya binago yung kaisipan ng hari, galit na galit pa rin. Pero yung faith nila, yung absolute dependence nila nandun, hindi nawala. No? Looking back over my life, no, sabi nga, things, yung mga bagay, things haven't turned out the way I thought. No? Sabi nga, hindi ko rin gusto maging sundalo, 
I have a plan. I had it all figured out. Ano ko yung mga plano ko? Makakatapos ako mechanical engineer, pupunta ako sa ibang bansa, no? Magtatrabaho ako. I told God what to do. No, when to do it. When I need it. When I needed, no? Uh, how to get me there? I gave him good information. No, you my very best. Pero yung the funny thing is, God didn't take my advice. No? He had his own plan. Hindi tinatanggap ni Lord yung advice natin. Siya ay Diyos. Tayo ay tao. He has his own plan. What I found is, God's plan has always been better than my plan. His ways have always been more rewarding, more fulfilling, bigger than my ways. If God will have done everything I ask, answered my prayer the way I want it, on my timetable, it will have limited my destiny. No? Kung sinunod ng Diyos ang lahat ng aking mga plano, magiging limitado yung aking destinasyon. Amen. Kasi yun lang ang plano mo eh. Eh si Lord, ang lawak ng plano sa buhay mo. You'll become a great leader. Marami kang dadaling tao para kay Lord. Di ba? Gagamitin ka ni Lord para sa pamilya mo, sa kaibigan mo. Malawak yung plano niya sa buhay mo eh. Hindi mo nakikita yan. No? Eh kung ang plano ko maging mechanical engineer, paano ako ngayon? Nandito ako ngayon eh. Naka- nandito ako sa harapan ninyo ngayon. Nangangaral ang salita ng Diyos. Eh hindi ito kasama sa plano ko noon. Di ba? So, nasulat po dito sa Isaiah chapter 55 verse 8 and 9. Habi dito, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declared the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, So are my ways higher than your ways? And my thoughts than your thoughts? So point number four, God's way are higher than our ways. So His ways are better than our ways. God knows what He is doing God is in control. Don't fight the closed doors. As long as you're honoring God, honoring Him, being your best at the right time, God will get you to where you're supposed to be. Mahalaga lang po. Naigalang natin ang Diyos. Huh? yung kanyang pamamaraan, pakontrol tayo sa kanya. Hindi natin sabihin, Lord, Lord, I love you, mahal kita, pero yung salita niya, hindi mo sinusunod. Kaya po, quit being discouraged over something that didn't work out the way you want it. Wag po tayo ma-discourage. Don't live frustrated because maybe somebody left, no? Merong iniwan ka na gusto mo ay kasama mo siya. May mga a door closed that you wanted to open. May mga saradong oportunidad, no? 
God knows. Remember, God knows what He is doing. You may not see it now. Alam ng Diyos yung kanyang ginagawa. Maring hindi mo nakikita ngayon, but one day, when you see what God was up to, you will be glad. Nagulat nga po ako eh. Ba? Eh, naging military ako eh. Tapos eh, naging marine engineer ako eh. Tapos eh, nagkaroon ako ng bahay eh. No? Tapos nabili ko itong lote eh. No? Binigay ni Lord itong lote eh. So, nagulat ako. And then we have the school. And then we have the church. At marami pa siyang binigay. So yung plano ko, kung plano ko lang, limitado. Pero yung plano ni Lord, malawak. Dahil siya may pag-aari ng lahat. Isipin po natin yan. Think it. So the longer I live, the more I pray, God, not my will. But let your will be done. Ganon po tayo. Nananalangin tayo, tulad ng ni Jesus, sabi ni Jesus, Ama, kung maaari, tanggalin mo yung sarong ito ng paghihirap. Ngunit hindi ang kaloban ko masunod, kundi ang kaloban mo. So we have to understand that. Maunawaan po natin ng dapat ang, kung anong gusto ng Panginoong Jesus. So I don't fight the closed doors anymore. I don't get frustrated when things aren't changed as fast I would like, as I would like. I know that God is in control. As long you're honoring Him, being your best at the right time, God will get you to where you're supposed to be. No? Patuloy, pinaparangalan mo ang Diyos, patuloy na binibigay mo yung the best sa Kanya, sa trabaho mo, sa pag-aaral mo, sa bahay mo, sa magulang mo, kapit-bahay mo, God will get you where you're supposed to be. Ilalagay ka ng Diyos kung saan ka niya itinalaga. It may not be where you thought God is going to take you farther than you ever, that you never imagined. Now believe in praying for our dreams and prayer, bold prayer, Believe in for big things. Maniwala po tayo, but I've learned to let God do it His way. Hindi po yung way natin. Sabi nga, hold tightly to what God put in your heart, but hold loosely to how it's going to happen. Panghawakan po natin yung mga pangako ng Diyos sa atin, pero luwagan po natin No? Kung ano ang pamamaraan, paano ito mapangyari. Leave it to the Lord. Don't get sad in your ways. No? Don't be discouraged because it has not happened the way you thought. God is working out His plan for your life. Ang Diyos ang kumikilos sa iyong buhay. No, yung plano niya sa iyong buhay, dahil siya ang may plano, unawain po natin, siya ang may plano, siya ang gagawa. No? Have you ever felt like God let you down? Nadama ba ninyo? Kumisan parang pinababayaan tayo ni Lord? Kumisan hindi niya binabago, yung bigla ang pagbabago? But if you're only had to be happy, if God does it your way, that's not depending. That's not absolute dependence. Dependence. Alam po ang ginagawa niyo. You're giving God order. Parang inuuto sa na natin ng Dios. You will be prostrated. 
Why don't you put your life in His hands? Bakit hindi mo ilagay, italagay yung buhay mo sa mga kamay ng Diyos? He knows what's best for you. Alam niya. He can see things that we can't see. Hindi ko naman nakita na ako'y magiging pastor. Bagamat may kapatid ako, may kuya ako na pare, pero hindi ko nakita yung aking sarili na ako'y maging uh, mangaral ng salita ng Diyos. Kaya nga malawak ang plano ng Diyos sa atin. No? Hindi natin nakikita. Kaya ako misan, kaya ako kung ano sinasabi ko, Lord, thank you for closing that door. May mga oportunidad na uh, nasasarhan. No? Thank you. Na hindi nag-work out yung aking plano. Some of the things that are not working out in your life now. No? But one day, you will be doing like I did. Itinalaga ko yung sarili ko sa plano ng Diyos. Lord, thank you that I didn't work out. Na it didn't work out on my way. You could save yourself a lot of frustration if you learn to have absolute dependence. No? The closed door, the disappointment, the delays, it all work out working for you. Kasama yan sa plano ng Diyos. Yes, it's good to be determined, to persist, no? but let God do it His way. Determinado ka, no? persistent ka, pero paubaya mo kay Lord sa pamamaraan ni Lord. If He's not changing it, not removing it, not opening it, don't fight it. Learn to embrace where you are. Nasaan ka? Tanggapin mo yan. He is giving you the grace not to just be there, but to be there with a good attitude. Binayayaan ka niya ng hawa, ng habag, hindi para lang manatili ka dyan, no? magmukmo ka, kundi para maging mabuti ka. If you're going to pass, ah, if you're going to pass the test, no? Keep a smile on your face, keep a song on your, no? Keep a song in your heart, no? Keep passion in your spirit. Don't drag through the day disappointed. Huwag natin gawing mabigat yung kalooban natin. Parang nagmamaktol tayo maghapon doon sa bahay natin. No? Hindi po healthy yun. Sabihin natin, this is the day the Lord has made. Amen? Amen. He is still on the throne. He is working out His plan for your life. He is going to get you there where you're supposed to be. Living worried, frustrated, disappointed, that takes out passion. Nawawala po yung passion natin. It is still our joy. Nianakaw nito yung kaligayahan natin. And it keep us from seeing God's favor. And sometimes the closed doors, the disappointment, they are simply a test. God wants to see if we will depend on Him. When we don't understand, when life doesn't make sense, this is what happened with Abraham. No? He waited 20 years to have his son Isaac. No? Nagintay si Abraham ng dalawampung taon para sa kanyang anak ni si Isaac. Isaac. 
the promised child. He and his wife Sarah were way up there in their 80s. No? They pray, believe, stood in faith. They finally saw the promise come to pass. No? Magtataka kayo, 80 years old, nanganak. Wow. Kasi noong panahon po noon, youth pa lang yung 80 at saka 90. Ang mga youth po yan. No? Unlike ngayon, 30 pa lang. Pagka hindi kristyano, kulubot na. Para nang pasas yung muka. No? Pero yung mga kristyano, ubas. No? Laging banat na banat yung balat. Di ba ba? Amen. So they were excited. So you can imagine how Abraham was have felt years later, no? Excited sila, nagkaanak na sila. Pero ito, when God told him to take Isaac on top of the mountain and sacrifice him, ito po yung matindi. Pangakong anak, dito magsisimula yung uh, sindami ng buhangin sa, sa dalampasigan at sindami ng bituin sa langit. Pero hiniling ng Diyos, i-sacrifice. Anong sense nito? Samantalang si Isaac, yun yung pinakamahal niyang anak. And this was the fulfillment of the promise. No? Now God was asking him to put his dream on the altar. Iaalay. Abraham didn't understand it, didn't seem fair. Hindi ito patas. Pero si, but he was obedient. Hindi po nagtanong si, si Abraham, Lord, di ba ito yung pangakong anak? Ito yung promise child. Hindi siya nagtanong ganun. He was obedient. And he passed the dependency test. No? Napasahan niya ito. Nakita po natin, just as she was about to follow through, no? God stopped him and said, Abraham, don't do it. Huwag mo sakta ng bata, sabi ng Diyos. Sabi ng Diyos, now I can see you trust. You trust me more than anything. Pero mo promise child eh. Nung sasaksakin niya niya, papatayin niya yung bata, si Isaac, pinigilan siya ng Diyos. Like Abraham, there will be times God asks us to put our dreams on the altar. No? Naalala ko yung kwento ng isang ni Pastor Modi doon sa Imus, sa church nila. Merong isang cell leader na babae. Uh, approved na lahat. They will go to United States. Doon na sila maninirahan. Pero itong babaeng to, dalaga po siya. Sabi niya sa mama at papa niya, uh, dito na lang po ako sa Pilipinas. No? dahil ayaw kong iwan yung ministry. Wow! Meron, po ganun, meron pa tayong ganoong puso. No? Opportunity, tinanggan, tinanggihan. Dahil nakita niya na mas maganda yung oportunidad kay Lord. No? Malis po yung mga parents niya, mga kapatid niya, naiwan siya. Wow. So, yun po yung parang si Abraham. Yung dream child inihandog niya sa altar. No? Pero nakita ng Diyos yung pagsunod niya. Pinigilan naman siya. So we have to show him that we don't have to have no, anything to be happy. Kundi yung pagsunod lang sa kanya. 
If we don't have the baby, we're not going to live bitter and sour. You believe in for your health to improve. Pero kung hindi mo nakita ang nag-improve, you're still happy. No? You're still going, giving the best. On point number five, sabi nga, God will give you back what you are willing to give up. No. Ito po yung inaasahan ni Abraham na kung mawala man yung anak niyang si Isaac ay merong ipapalit ang Diyos. God will not only give you the desire of your heart. He will do more than you can ask or imagine. The question is, will you do the right thing when it's hard? Will you do, no, will you do the right thing when it's hard? Will you depend on God when it's not what you've told or when you don't understand? So, meron pa po kong isang istorya. Uh, gusto po ninyo ituloy ko pa ito. O, oh, titigil na tayo. Ano pa? So, maganda ituloy natin, ano? Kasi nga, tumingin ako sa relo, eh, medyo, ano po? No po, during World War II, ako, mahirap palala nyo, there was a young soldier, meron po isang sundalo nung uh, uh, Second World War, no? Uh, Nandun siya sa Florida, nagbabasa doon sa, kasi nagbabasa siya sa, ng isang libro. No? Uh, he noticed yung handwritten doon sa, may mga nakasulat doon sa margin ng, ng book. No? And they were very thoughtful and heartwarming, yung mga sulat. So, he turned to the front of the book. No? Uh, just happened, na nakasulat doon yung uh, previous na may-ari ng book. No? Name. The name is Holy. Uh, nakatira sa New York City. No? So, ginawa nitong sundalo. Uh, sinulatan niya. Introduce niya yung sarili niya. Uh, uh, sinabi niya kung uh, saan niya nakita yung ano at yung uh, sumulat siya. At sabi niya, Uh, alis ako, papunta akong Germany uh, at uh, inimbita niya itong babae sa sulat na tugunin siya mapag-usapan nila tungkol niya sa libro sa book na binabasa niya so nag-respond sa man po yung babae no? at uh, within uh, next 13 months po nagkaroon sila ng communication through letters no? uh, back and forth again and again getting closer and they were actually falling in love na hindi pa sila nagkikita. Na po, na fall in love. Oh, excited na yung iba dyan. No. So, na fall in love itong dalawa, kahit hindi pa sila nakikita. No? So, nag-request yung sundalo ng picture ng babae, pero nag-refuse yung babae. So, a year and a half, isang taon at kalate, ay bumalik na siya sa New York. No? So, Sinulatan niya, nakauwi na siya, punta, balik na siya ng New York, and so, ito po yung malaking oportunidad na sila ay magkikita for the first time. No? At, uh, at lalabas sila para mag-dinner kasi ordinaryo po yun, no? So, sabi ng babae, she said, I'll be waiting for you when you get off the ship. 
Tubar ko po yung sasakyan nun. You will know me uh, by the pink robe I'll be wearing. No, makikita mo, makikita mo ako dahil suot ko yung pink na robe. No? Uh, so, sailing back across the ocean, he was excited. Excited yung lalaki. Uh, Di ba, yung mga binata, nervous pa yan. Maka, medyo ni nervous pa yan. No? At the same time, he step of the ship. So, the boy, the big moment finally arrived. Uh, andoon na siya sa, uh, ano, sa pier. No? Uh, may dumating na isang magandang babae. No? Uh, beautiful, young, no? Uh, para bang she took his breath away, no? Para bang na ano yung hininga niya? No, pero she was stunning, tall, gorgeous, no? Parang isang uh, uh, movie star itong babae na dumating. So, para bang napaatras siya, no? Nagulat siya, no? Pero hindi niya na-realize na itong babae hindi naman nakasuot ng pink na robe. No? Kasi nakita niya lang yung ganda eh, no? Maganda lahat na taas, no? So So disappointed, pero hindi niya ipinakita yung kanyang disappointment, no? He woke up, no? Pero sabi nga, he woke up na patuloy na karon is mainiti sa kanyang labi, no? Nakita niya itong isang babae dumarating naman. A gray hair, no? Uh, she, pero hindi naman attractive. Pero itong babae nakasuot ng pink robe. No? Nakasuot. Pero disappointed nga siya, hindi niya naman pinakita, no? Pero lumapit siya with a smile. Sumaludo pa siya, no? Sundalo s'yempre, no? Sumaludo pa siya. And he said, Hello, ma'am. You must be holy. Sabi, no, sabi niya, yeah, Ikaw si holy. I'm so glad to meet you. Sabi niya, Can I take you to dinner? No, yun ang sabi niya. The lady said, Son, I'm not sure what's going on. Sabi niya, Hindi ko alam ko ano talaga ang nangyayari. But the young lady that just passed you, Ask me to wear this pink robe. Yung babae na unang dumaan sa may harapan niya, ay inutusan itong babae ito na magsuot ng pink robe. So, she said, if you invited me to dinner to tell you, you see, no, he'll be waiting for you. Yung daw babae na yun, naghihintay across the road doon sa restaurant. Yung nag-utos sa kanya na magsuot ng robe, naghihintay ngayon. <laughs> Kaya nga, no? So, it's simply a test. No? Sinubok din siya noong babae na maganda. No? Sinubok siya. Kung kahit ba siya ay ano na, picture niya, medyo portis na siya eh. Yung babae dumating, naka-pink robe, portis, no? Medyo... Uh, medyo tigulang na, no? <laughs> so, so, kaya nga, no? It's simply a test. Ito po yung tanong, will you do the right thing when it's hard? Will you trust God when it's not what you thought or when you don't understand? No? Pagtitiwalaan pa ba natin ng Diyos? No? gagawa pa ba tayo ng mabuti? Kahit masama ang nangyayari. So God said to Abraham, because you did not withhold your only son, ito po yung the best eh, na hindi natin nakikita. I will surely bless you. Sabi mo sa katabi, sa katabi mo, God bless you. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, laksan mo! Baka hindi narinig, baka natutulog na eh. God bless you. Yeah. I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the sand on the seashore. Wow! Lalaki pala ang cell group ko. Magiging great leader pala ko. Amen! Wow! No? 
Ang pangako po niyan, hindi lang po yan, ano, hindi lang po yung spiritual, pati po yung ating uh, buhay kasama diyan, no? So blessing. When you do like Abraham, you do like this young soldier, and you pass the dependency test, God will not only give you the desire of your heart, He will do more than you can ask or imagine. Amen. So are you living prostrated because your praying are not being answered? No? Your plans are not working out? Take the pressure off. God is in control. He knows what's best for you. You're not always going to understand it. If you did it, who will take my any faith? Kung ang lahat ng bagay na unawaan mo, walang pananampalataya yan. I'm asking you to depend on Him. Absolutely. If you will do this, I believe and declare, God is going to work out His plan for your life. He is going to open the right doors, bring the right person, turn negative situation around, and take it to the fullness of your destiny in Jesus' name. Can I hear a big amen? Amen. 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 So, uh, I would like uh, to give the opportunity to make Jesus the Lord of your life. Doon po sa mga first-timer natin. Can I ask you, my first-timer po, can I ask you to bow your head and close your eyes and repeat after me. Ano po? Repeat after me. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, humihingi po ako ng kapatawaran sa aking mga kasalanan. Pinagsisisihan ko po ang lahat ng bagay mga kamali ang aking nagawa laban sa inyo. Pumasok ka po sa aking puso. Kontrolin mo po ang aking buhay. Ngayon po ay tinatanggap ko na ikaw ang aking Panginoon, Diyos na masusunod sa aking buhay. Salamat po. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. So let's pray, Pa. Let's all bow our head and close our eyes. Lord God, our Father in heaven, we absolutely depend on you. You are our God. Even in difficulties, we believe in you. We pray. We stay in faith. Lord God, we do our best. Even things are hard. God, you said to Abraham because you have you did not up uh, withhold your son. Ganon din po kami. Kung ano yung mga pangako ninyo kay Abraham, we claim, oh God, the same blessing po na kami ay pinagpala na ninyo, na kami po ay pararamihin ninyo uh, sa aming pamilya, Palalakihin mo po ang komunidad ng Kristiyano at uh, gagamitin mo po kami bilang uh, inyong uh, uh, tigapagpahayag ng inyong salita upang ang inyong pong kakarian ay mapangyari po dito sa lupa para nang nasa langit. Salamat po, Ama, na tunay nga po uh, hindi po aksidente ang bawat isa ay narito at Tinatanggap po namin whatever your plan in our life. You own everything. You are the creator of the earth, the heaven, the seas, and everything in it. Kaya po, hindi po limitado ang plano ninyo sa aming buhay, Lord God. Not like us, ang plano namin limitado, mayangganan. But with you, Lord, we believe, O oh God, na ang bawat isa, ay pinagpala niyo na po yung pagpapalang nagmumula sa inyo. Salamat po, Ama. Salamat po. We thank you, God, for the healing, for the anointing, for the restoration. May mga family na 
may I make you my differentia. Lord, you restore. Thank you, O God, for the empowerment, for the encouragement. Thank you for the authority that you have given to us upang may pangaral lang yung salita. Thank you po for the favor, the right people, right connection, mga tamang tao, tamang connection, lalo na po yung spiritual na connection. Lord God, salamat po na ang inyong mga anak ay narito. Lord God, na may ginamit kayong mga tao sa kanilang mga buhay at sila man po ay magagamit ninyo sa iba pang mga tao, sa kanilang mga pamilya at mga mahal sa buhay. Lord, thank you po for the uh, <coughs> For the, for the financial support na sa kabila ng pandemya ito ay patuloy po narito kami malusog, masigla Lord God, salamat po salamat po at uh, tunay nga po pagpalain niyo po ang bawat sa inyong mga anak narito, maging yung mga nasa live nasa tahanan o sa mga lugar ng mga anak, the same prayer po ay uh, tinataas ko po para sa kanila, Lord, salamat po Ama, salamat po this we pray in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit All God's people say, Amen, amen and Amen.